Consuelo was looking for a girl who was powerful, um, a bit severe, with strong personality, but she didn't want any color, anything on the face. So we just give a shading, what taupe, and a lot of gloss on the side, and we want the, the sideburn to stick to the gloss on the face, you know. The girl who was natural, but believe me, they got personality. I love it when it's natural, and because I'm always wearing also really natural, only mascara, and that's it. So I love it. It's a very um, bit inspired by the Bruce Weber did this great book called uh, Teddy Boys of the Edwardian Drape Society. She really liked the idea of them looking more like boys, like very like maybe they pick their dad's wax up and they kind of try to do their hair. So there's a masculine element to it. And obviously I wanted to give it a little twist. So I just thought about like those guys that have the very like you know those long sideburns and so we're just using the hair to give it like a little frame to the face. So it just gives it that more masculine feel to the hair. It's really nice, it's like really sture and cool and yeah, it's nice. And I feel sweet sensation. And the hair looks like a boy. Yeah, <laughs> but I love it. It's like different, but it's nice. The hair is nice, it has this thing going on. Sideburn. Yes. It's interesting. I love this messy kind of boyish look. It's actually very me. I happened to open a show that I actually really, I love this brand. I love the designers and the team behind it. It's just... I feel so honored, I'm so happy. I thought it was very interesting that she opened what with what almost seemed like muslins because this isn't a special anniversary for her, she wanted to take it down to her shapes and the, ba and the base before you start building color and pattern and texture into things. We wanted to just sort of cleanse the palette. Having these almost twirl-like shapes, except of course the fabrics were incredibly precious and it looks like muslin, in fact it's silk and cotton. But, you know, that's Marnie. You know, it just is luxurious without ever being ostentatious. Beautiful, beautiful. The white, the ecru, like you said, a little, a little bit of black. The, and, you know, we're seeing quite a bit of the asymmetric kind of scarf hemlines. I thought that looked terrific. And then, you know, of course we're going to bring in the prints and the colour and the embellishments and the accessories. But I think it kind of built up to that and it felt kind of easy with it. Because, you know, like a good meal, you know, you can feel quite full. <laughs> so it was a lovely way of just easing into it rather than full on yeah, in the beginning. waist uh, skirt it's black and pink a little bit and then the top is also black and it has a belt so you can really see the waist and I like it yeah it's super cool 
I have a lot of jewels, but I like them. It was so beautiful. Like, I really love how they take floral and build it in there with their own textures and without kind of reverting to you know, normal tropes of, of, of floral. So, yeah, no, for me it was, again, just a really beautiful Marni show. I wear uh, a yellow dress with a lot of uh, green and red outside. Beautiful. My look, it's kind of like a Barrios. The accessories, you know, we always do a, an eccentric shoe, do a bit of a statement shoe. And I think they're kind of like the ballet trainers, and yet they're really comfortable. I mean, there's nothing as comfortable as a Marni shoe. I know, I wear them all the time, I and mean, they're just amazing. my outfit, I love my jacket, it's like a bomber jacket, and it's nice, no? It was beautiful, so it's very plain and quiet at the beginning, and then the color arriving slowly, like, uh, and I like to sing because it's, it's in between uh, the um, religious dress, very uh, plain, and, and then it grows slowly, slowly, slowly to uh, the flowers and the camouflage flowers, very nice. I thought it was a, a great show. I thought the athleticism and nature and orientalism and Baroque have rarely had a happier meeting. Marni is like another symbol of Italianity in the world. Uh, it's great. Uh, it was a beautiful collection. It was, of course, like it was very Asian inspired at the beginning. Uh, I love the shoes were amazing. Like. Those wedges that are so marny, the jewels were beautiful and the last dresses just like took my breath away. So it was really beautiful. The thing about Marnie is that, you know, everybody just does what they feel like doing rather than reacting to other things. And I think the spirit is as it feels as fresh today as it did when we first started, really. Yeah.